Hello, hello, good morning, my friend. This is Chineta, filming from the city of San Antonio. As you, many of you already know, I welcome you with all of my heart, wishing nothing but the best for you in this new day of life. Inviting you to subscribe to my channel. Please like and comment. I really appreciate when you comment, when you ask questions, please. This is what my channel is for, is for you, is to serve the community. I'm back with this beautiful editorial, kind of high fashion eye makeup look. When you look at a, a makeup look like this, or a creation of this nature, okay, we're talking or speaking about different elements you use in order to accomplish this makeup look, okay? You won't believe it, but I was using Valentino. The beautiful eye and cheek blotches, okay? These are multi-purpose palette. And, um, and we're going to proceed in this, do this makeup look on this other eye together. One more time, I did apply the concept of working with warm shades on the eye. I have a hair. There we go. Working with warm shades on the eyes in combination with cool tones for my cheeks, okay? I just put this as a little accessory. I can pull it off and I can leave it like this or I can just stick one more there. We're going to initiate the makeup look using this Rihanna Cool Gel Eyeliner. This is uh, the best match I found. I was testing more than one, two, three, four, five, six different shades because I need to see which color are going to be matching and working much better. Okay. When you hear me often talking about advanced techniques, friends, advanced te techniques, I'm sorry, it is the fact, not only of the placement, but you need, you know, to be playing with different type of pigment, different element on the application of the makeup look, which this is a perfect example and you are going to see the performance of this makeup look together with me. On the waterline and the lash line, okay? And I'm going into the inner And smudging the shade toward the crease and let me tell you that in this process it is a beautiful beautiful thing to see your eyes like they are undone with us that kind of a undone looking you know so I just have much this shade on the inner. I'm going to repeat it again. Friends, when I've been telling you how beautiful it is the quality of the product Rihanna is being producing, actually. So using the same brush, and I proceed diffusing slightly with the shade outwards. With what remain on my brush I 
I go into the crease and we're forming this on the inner you go slightly bit around it around it what comes out to my Fenty Beauty beautiful chai friends I need to get a new one now I'm going to proceed and I start using this cool tone shade from Valentino grabbing a clean brush I'm going to start depositing this beautiful cool tone shade from Valentino and the number is the one okay so I'm going to start applying this shade all around the crease I'm using the brush to come with this beautiful cold iron cheek so I start building and diffusing or feathering out into nothing high precision brush okay so and I proceed and apply this shade all around my lower eyelid so the I have this kind of effect of done and done if I see then I kind of losing the intensity I just keep applying a tiny little bit of the cold gel pencil so I'm constantly changing for brushes and now using shade 302 which was the limit edition grabbing this much of the shade I'm going to keep working on the dimension so this powder is not only helping me for the purpose of my cheeks but now for first time actually I have the opportunity my loves to use this for my eyes And you can do something like this, friends, with any color, okay? Any color and play with the contrast. So when I'm forming this wing little by little and using my stunning and beautiful Gucci eyeshadow palette which is called Flora I'm going to ask for this very soft pink over there it's like a matte another matte because all of these shades are matte so I'm going to dip slightly on the shade and I'm going to take this shade all over the edges on top and bottom okay so this is going to give a beautiful radiant or radiance look at that finish so I'm going to be applying this shade
on the bottom as well. Wow, look at that friends. You want something different. You are looking for something different, you know, just that. Something different that can give you, you know, a different aspect of what you are used to do every day, you know, as a makeup look. This is a beautiful concept to work with. You hear a squeak joy, that is a miniature dachshund that is worse like a little child. So then I keep bringing intensity on the crease. Okay, and it is not a problem because I keep softening the edges with this beautiful Gucci shade. This is the Flora Stunning Palette. I invest last year. Friend, you have no idea the preciousness I have here. The pigmentation of this our shadow friends are in a, in a different level. All what you can see, you know, it is this kind of effect of done and done. How gorgeous it is. So now I'm going to apply from the same palette Mega Celestial Nirvana. I have two shades I want to use. Is those two shades together, okay? And I'm going to apply this shade first to don't look all matte on the inner portion of my eyes, okay, like that, and slightly bit on the center. Wow, friend, these palettes are just insane. So I'm feathering out the metallic shape because I really don't want much, 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 okay? And on the center, I apply this other shade and look like champagne, something like that. So this is more like what we have. I'm just applying the Orcho Waterproof Mascara. One tip for you friends. If you bought this mascara, it's the most waterproof type of mascara you're going to see. Once and you smear a tiny little bit, if you don't remove it right away, like uh, I just did, somewhere here, there, if you don't remove it right away, friends, this is literally impossible to remove the product because it's super, super highly pigmented. So as you see my hands is full of shades that I have to be trying in order to combine, you know, to make everything work. Since the eyes are pretty matte, okay, we're going to add a tiny little bit of highlighter. And this is from my stunning Anastasia Beverly Hills. I bought this in Vegas, friends. And the shade is so beautiful. It's Glow Seeker Highlighter. It's very pretty because look kind of goldish. But 
but it's beautifully champagne. Okay, I'm going to deepen the product and to bring this eye into life by applying. Look how much change. I love this powder from Anastasia. It's beautiful, friends. Mm -hmm. Since the eyes are finishing this way, okay, I'm going to proceed and apply the individual eyelashes. Grab the first one like that, just like that. And the technique of the application of these individual eyelashes, it is, I'm going to be applying the glue from the back. So, one tip, when you are going to do this, make sure that you apply your um, mascara first. So I'm going for the first one. First one in place, but look how stunning they look. They give you instant, you know, um, statement. So I'm going to proceed. I'm going to apply the second one. So now I'm coming, leaving some separation in between. Look how stunning they are. And I'm going to apply the third one. And some people uh, like to apply, friends, the glue directly to the eyelashes. I don't like to do that because I think and I consider that the amount of glue I put on the individual are good enough and voila the third one is on friends I've been walking and working a year with this palette the mega celestial nirvana from Pat McGrath is the most amazing amazing product and palette and versatile and I can come And apply a tiny bit I'm going to proceed to apply my blush and I'm going since I have the 03 and the 01 these are the shade ups you can see the difference over there this is more intense 03 and this is the zero 01 and I'm going for the zero 01 which is the very cool tone from Raffer I'm going to dip slightly bit and I start applying this stunning product on my cheeks friends the luminosity you see on this cheek obey to the product from tone 4 okay With the emotions, I'm proceeding and applying this beautiful, beautiful shade from Valentino. If I don't mistake, it's called Born in Roma, friends. And we're going to apply plenty of blush, okay? We're not doing contour today. I like this technique of the emotions for the only reason, friends. You are going always to have better control with the application. It's like a 
making an airbrush application. Look, at, since I'm working with refer face brushes, it helped tremendously, tremendously to diffuse this product much better. Again, I'm going to be listing every single of the product I use for today's makeup look, my loves. And on top, with my ring finger, I proceed and apply it in a little bit of highlighter on the high point of my cheek. So since we have pretty much matte on the eyes, we can perfectly go with this stunning shade. Okay. Grabbing my colors glue, I will do the first step with you here. One dot. Using my katana, I'm going to grab one sequence. And I apply one gorgeous rhinestone just in the center. So this way is how I started with the application of the rhinestones. So you can do it kind of randomly. As you see friends, I did apply a slightly bit of rhinestones just on the upper inner of my eye. So I'm going to proceed and do the same thing on this eye and I come back with this makeup look done except for the lips. As I explained, this is an accessory that you can put or remove. This beautiful pigment that you can see that is very reflecting over there, friends. This is some of the most stunning stuff. I didn't work with that today since I decided to play around with the rhinestones but if happen that you have this kind of pigment but you don't have rhinestone you can perfectly work with these pigments okay this is from Graftovian the micro pigment is stunning in another occasion probably we can use it and the adhesive that I do for the micro glitter is this stunning forever and ever NYX Cosmetics. It's one of the best product i ever seen for this kind of purpose, okay? The rhinestones you see on my eyes, I have every single color, every single size that you can imagine. As I do have, this is a ostrich feathers, they are natural feathers my beautiful friends so we come to the end of this stunning makeup look I just did so now we're going to be speaking a little bit about lips I know we have been talking about this product for the longest time this is a Dior show on crayon on a stage crayon This technique, friends, is going to help you to bring more volume to your lips. For the occasion, because I haven't had the opportunity, my friends, to introduce you properly to this stunning product that Chanel just launched. Before we continue, I want to say this. It is okay if you don't like every single thing that you see. Okay, the purpose of this channel is to teach. The purpose of my channel is to uh, bring you new ideas. Imagine this concept, but just doing it with different uh, colors, different pigment, different foundation, 
okay or if you just want to remove the rhinestones let us say something and ideas are endless as taste on makeup are endless so this is my real passion on artistry and it is totally okay if you don't agree on certain makeup look, if you don't like a certain makeup look, I know that this look crazy, but everything obeyed to your reason. This pencil is for lips only. This pencil is a primer. So it's going to help your lips, you know, and for the product of the lipstick or any any category of the product that you want to use on your lip too, don't bleed. But at the same time, this produce a instant volumizing on your lips okay so that is the purpose of what I did I really want my friends to speak a tiny little bit about this amazing product that it is Rouge Allure Velvet Nuit Velvet Nuit Blanche I did order three shades, okay? That's these are. I ordered the three o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, and seven o'clock. Let me show you the two. It's not red, it's not orangey, but it's in between. Okay, this is the two o'clock. What I have to say, it is a signature long wearing lipstick in a range of eight shades, retailed for $50 issue. Each presented in a limited edition black and white rouge allure. Black and white rouge allure click case. The lightweight creation reveal subtly hydrating lips. I did one makeup look using one of these shades. Actually, it's hard to believe that they are matte, velvet matte. The comfortable formulation delivers intense color and wears like a second skin. Highly concentrated pigment create an even long-lasting result, while soft focus micro Spheres combined with an ultra fine pearlescent particle for a luminous matte finish. She butter and jojoba oil. So it's only she butter and jojoba oil. And to the touch, this product is the most stunning, soft, and as the information explained, produces souple, you know, feeling. Beautiful. And then we have the 3, 3 a.m. The 3 a.m. Look at this. Okay, again, this going to click and click. Gorgeous, stunning, delicate, elegant case. 3 a.m. or 3 o'clock. Friends, it was a reason that I picked this beautiful magenta shade because you don't find really easy this shade. I've seen this shade just on Valentino blushes, but never on lipsticks. So for Chanel to bring something so stunning, my loves, is beautiful. This magenta. I'm not sure. Let us see. Yeah, you can do the white, that is what you prefer, but from a distance, this beautiful look gives the impression of being a very monochromatic 
job of look with this three o'clock. I couldn't be more happy. And I'm going to try the nude shade on this one because I truly love it, friends. I truly love it. How beautiful. It is a true magenta. Okay? Not many people pick this shade. And let me tell you, that was the first shade going away from the website. Look at this. This is 7 a.m. It's a stunning, soft, beautiful, gorgeous, like a must daily go shade. Very pretty. This is the 2024 new releases from Chanel. These are the three shades, friends. I did order on this new release collection. Over there you have the swatches. And this is the three o'clock, which is the magenta. So the other collection, I never had the chance to speak to you. It was the Coco, the Rouge Coco Boumet. And on this collection, I did order for shades. Rouge Coco Boumet. I did order the 922, 940, 918, and 914. And I'm going to provide swatches and information on the product. And the other one was black and white. This is with this stunning gold finish. This is not a click. Actually, you have to open the product. This is the 914. This it is on the category of bomb. <laughs> Friend, you are not going to believe, but this is in the category of bomb. This is just crazy. Okay, let us start with the swatches, friends. This is the 914, okay? I'm going to start applying everything here, 914. This is the shade, 914. It's a very light case in comparison to the Rouge Velvet Nuit Blanche. That is pretty heavy. It's an hydrating, beautifying tint lip balm. Wow. With the delivers intense color. 914. Let us go in order to the 918. I ordered four. This was for the winter collection, friends, but I don't care because the color are just stunning for this summer. Look at this. 9. 14. This is a pink and this is more brownish with a pink undertone brownish. Beautiful chai friends. And now I'm talking about 940. 940 look like a this gorgeous mauve shade. You know the mauve? And the most of the cases have a lot of pink. Look at this. Wow. The pigmentation, friends, is a gorgeous, more intense pink than this one. It's a mauve shade. Oh, hydrating, friends, as you have no idea. Wow. 940. I invest in all of these. A different uh, chase friends not because winter I bought it very very late okay but I was thinking on this upcoming summer so the next one is called passion pink 922 passion pink look at this friends oh, another magenta look between this magenta and this friends oh my okay let me see I'm going just to apply it. So it can give me 
a little hydration. Look, friends. Oh, friends, it's a magenta chain. Only channel can do such a beautiful, beautiful creation, friends. So with this set, this makeup look come to a beautiful end. I did put in the table everything I have received so far. Friends, wishing you that you really enjoy and this video help you to relax and help you to have a very great time with me. I'm bringing as well beautiful product to the table. I can have enough with my investment on the lipsticks from Chanel friends. What I can tell you about the placement of my enhancers, illuminators, I just bought from Christian Dior and the recent purchase from Tom Ford, which is the number two on this chick and the Tom Ford Universal is on this other cheek. I think the luminosity and both are just stunning. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like and comment, please. With this said, good night, good evening. This is what I can do best. I can set enough about my individual eyelashes from Kiss. They are just mesmerizing. I like it probably better than putting a whole eyelash on my eyes. Thank you very much. I say goodbye for now. God bless you all. Stay safe and for, don't forget to subscribe, okay? Bye.